Thank you, Elizabeth. Class, what did you think of her report? That's bull. It's not bull. I read it in a book. Yeah, it was a cool report. It probably just went over your head. The reports were supposed to be on the history of the town, not Nightmare on Troll Street. <laughs> now settle down, class. Lay off her, Murdoch. What are you going to do about it, Runt? Elizabeth scared Kenny with a spooky story. The dork likes her. Although Elizabeth's report was a bit unusual, legends and myths are a real part of history, especially here in Briarville with our unique past. I think it was a clever idea. So, uh, Elizabeth, what was the curse the troll put on Phineas? Well, legend has it that from that moment on, Phineas's descendants will get dumber and dumber and dumber. <laughs> Yeah, when they hired me as sanitary engineer, they had no idea that I was actually Ernest P. Worrell, man of destiny, ruler of refuse, a man who has taken dominion over his environment. A brilliant innovator in the fertile field of recycling. The czar of jars, the baron of bottles, the duke of dust. Oh no, the switch is on the fridge. IQs were of lower, they'd be plants. Grimshot! Something's wrong! just come from the Hackmore place. It's an absolute mess. It violates every code on the book. I want it cleaned up, and I want it cleaned up immediately. So, well, Mayor, I served the papers, and Ernest said he would get right on it. If he can't handle it, you fire him. Yes, sir. There goes that idiot now. <laughs> and he's going away from the Hackmore place. That was close. Yeah, my dad said we could get in big trouble riding in here. Well, it is against city regulations and all, but... As driver of a garbage truck, I feel like 
captain of my own ship, master of my own fate, able to make my own rules, a man above the law. <laughs>